the real question is why I decided it was a good idea to record my face like this. Hey guys! So, in today's video, as you can see, things are a little bit different in that you're actually seeing my face. I'm going to try this out for a little while, just as an intro sort of thing, and we'll see how it goes. So in today's video, I'm doing a watercolor time lapse, and it was inspired by this piece that I did for my 100 day project, and that is over on Instagram. And I've been illustrating song lyrics. And so this one is from a song by the band Sick Puppies, and it says, you live your life in your head, some call it imagination. And I really liked the way this illustration turned out, and I wanted to do it as a watercolor piece. And I don't know if it turned out exactly the way it was in my head, but I do like the way that it eventually turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse, and I will see you guys there. So the first thing that you will probably notice about this watercolor piece in comparison to most of my other watercolor time lapses is that in this piece I don't actually do the line work first. Now there are a number of reasons for this, but the most prominent is that I just don't do it very often. And I've seen a lot of people do it, and I always really like the way that their pieces turn out. And I was kind of thinking that it would be worthwhile to experiment with something a little different just to try to, again, avoid some sort of art block where I become so bogged down by the way that I'm doing things that I am afraid, basically, to try anything different. I think it did affect the way that the piece turned out. It definitely was a lot different than I expected. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I do think that if I were to do this piece over, I would probably not use the paints gray and do outlines like I did. I would focus more on shadows and darks and lights, and then I would add my line work definition with the ink later on. And I think part of the reason that I did end up doing it the way that I did was I was intimidated. I saw that it wasn't looking the way that I was used to it looking, and that was scary and I wanted to fix it. So I ended up doing line work with a brush and watercolor as opposed to ink, and it turned out much thicker and heavier than I would have liked it to be. However, I do think that in the end it turned out as something that I am proud of. And as I mentioned briefly in the introduction, it was based on another piece that I had recently done. And the main reason I decided to turn it into a watercolor piece as opposed to just leaving it as the illustration that it was is that in my head, inside of these little clouds of smoke or whatever you want to inter interpret that as, I had imagined galaxies. And with markers, I have no idea how I would achieve that. I have no idea how I would even begin to render a galaxy with markers, and if it's even possible, I definitely don't have the right colors to do it. So I had to kind of make do when it came to the actual illustration piece, and I really wanted to see what it would look like if I did it the way I had imagined it in my head. And another thing is I would probably do this piece in a smaller size because this is an 8x10 piece. I would probably do 5x7, maybe a 6x9 or something, something smaller. And the reason for that is just that the detail in the eyes I think would have translated a little better if they were 
overall smaller. Whereas in this piece, they are extremely large and the center of attention as they should be, but I feel like it would have translated much better in a smaller piece. However, I do really like the concept behind this piece and that was the main reason that I decided to draw it again and try to do a better job of representing exactly what it was that I was trying to show and explore. I do think that illustrating song lyrics, which is what I'm doing for my 100 day challenge, is pushing my boundaries quite a bit. There are several days where I felt like I had a very typical day where it was very average in terms of what I drew. It was very simplistic and I probably could have pushed the boundaries more. But in the end, I think it's interesting to see what songs can inspire because to me, music is an extremely inspiring thing. And there's a lot of emotion and meaning that can be portrayed in just three minutes. And that's sort of what I want to do with my artwork is have people look at something that I've made and wonder what else there is to it. And they can get that meaning in not necessarily a short amount of time, but that it's clear what I'm trying to say. And that's why I think music translates very well to the type of artwork that I tend to do. Not just because the types of music that I tend to listen to are alternative and rock, and the lyrics translate to more of a surreal kind of vibe very easily, but also that conceptually what music does and what I want to do with my art are very similar. So this piece was a little more simple than I have been doing in the past, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you enjoyed this, it is available in my Etsy shop. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Put makeup on for this. So, <laughs> this is happening. Look at this. <laughs> what is that? That was alright. I'm trying to get used to it. So, what am I saying? Like, what am I doing? I'm saying, hi, welcome to the video. This is my face. Tell if things are in frame when you're not allowed to look at yourself in the camera. Or am I just gonna do hey guys because I'm awkward and that's my personality so we'll go with that. <laughs>